welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing on the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I have it right here. I already opened it. I attempted to record and then memory was full so I had to delete things. But this is the card for the month. It is Sparkle, Shine, and Shimmer. I will open that up later. I do have add-ons as well on here but I'm not going to show the add-ons right away. I'm going to show you what came in my box originally. The first thing I was really excited about to get was the Complex Culture Press and Set Bronzer Brush. This is the packaging. It's very nice. The brush is a really nice brush. Here is how it comes in the box. Pull that off. Let's flip it out. It says Complex Culture on it. It's a really nice fluffy brush. I really like the highlight brush that I got as well. And it's going to be really good for trying to bronze. I mean, you can really use it for anything. Anything you have preference with. That is the first thing I got. I'm kind of speeding through this a little bit because it's really late. It's 1 o'clock in the morning and I'm trying to do this as fast as I can. I'm super tired. It's Christmas Eve on top of that. Well, right now it's Christmas. <laughs> the second thing I got is by Tarte. Now, I seen this today when I was in Ulta, and I did spray it just to see how the spritzer is because I knew I was getting it in my box because this is the product that I actually picked because I do pick my products every month. I like to do that, and then I like to shop the flash sales and all that kind of good stuff because I have a full bag over here of things that I've gotten from the Dollar Tree, from Walmart and Ulta and all that good stuff. But and another thing that ended up happening recently which was on December 13th, my boyfriend, now fiance, proposed. So there's the ring. It's a little dirty because of where I work at right now, but I absolutely love it. It's by Andriana Propel. But back to this. And this is the Tarte Stay Spray. I really like the packaging. It is from the Double Duty Beauty line that they did. And this is the bottle. And it is very nice. And it spritzes really nice. Which I don't think you can really see on my camera. But it is a very nice spray. And it smells like really good. It does. And I just kind of got that in my eye a little bit. But I want to test it out tomorrow for sure because I usually use Pixie by Petra, one of hers. I can't remember exactly the name of it, but it's a very good spray. The third thing I got is by Evolule. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but this is the product. And this is a super oil. So I see Madison Miller got the same thing. Like she got a lot of the same things I did. She said this smelled horrible. So I'm, I'm just... One in this. See what it smells like. It does not smell good. At all. But honestly, it's better to have it stink <laughs> than to have it really have a strong scent in it because you know that they're trying to cover harmful chemicals. But I don't know much about this brand. It's what it says apply two or three drops in AM and PM as needed. Mm, ingredients is olive derived <laughs> vitamin A oil. I can't even pronounce some of these, but vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, and vitamin K. So no animal testing. So it is a cruelty free free brand, and it is based in Beverly Hills. So we'll test that out tomorrow. The third, or no, the fourth <laughs> I got was these little lip balms. By Noya. Oh, Fuzzies. I have not opened them yet. They're still sealed. And there is two of them. One is organic peppermint lip balm. And then the next one is organic vanilla lip balm. So I'm going to pop that open. Mmm. Oh, wow, that's, it's very creamy. It feels hydrating. That's, that's a good thing. And it smells really good, actually. I love, that was the vanilla one. This is the peppermint. Get it off. 
that's a strong peppermint, but peppermint is always good on the lips. It's very good for your lips with hydrating and it helps plump your lips as well, which I mean, my lips don't look the greatest right now, but who cares? And the very last thing that I ended up getting was a palette that Itsy did a collaboration with Ipsy, I'm guessing. I'm not absolutely sure, but it's a build your own palette. Here's the packaging. It's very nice packaging. I like it. It's very soft. Always have problems opening boxes. Even though I have nails, I always have problems. I don't freaking get it. Okay. Let me get this out of here. This is the Itsy palette. There's my mess. There's my coffee. <laughs> but it does seem nice. Like, I really like the colors. It's a very neutral palette. And the nice thing about this, i seen with on their Facebook Live, is this is attached. Like, you don't have to tear this off. It's optional. Like, they have it to where you can bend it and tear it off. But I really like the colors in it. It's a very neutral. There's a couple shimmers and two mattes. So you get two mattes and two shimmers. And then also you can pull this out as well. And it's magnetic. So you can build your own palette by adding other pans into it, which is nice. But me personally, I don't know if I'll ever buy any single shadows to be able to do that kind of thing. I'd rather just have a full palette, unless I really would like absolutely love an eyeshadow that I want to put in there, then yeah, I would. I'm trying to fix it, but now I can't get it in there because <laughs> I moved it. Damn it. Let's see. Oh well, but yeah, that's the palette. It's like not one to pop back in because I don't have it in the right way. There we go. And I just, here, I'm just taking it off because it's driving me nuts. And I done dip my fingers in it a little bit, but I am, ooh, that's the shimmer right there. And that's actually really nice. I like the way they feel. That's a very pretty color. You may hear background noise. It's because my brother and my old man are still awake. That one, that is a matte. It's a very cool toned brown. And it is not bad at all. And here's the other matte. This is a warm tone tan. It is very good for transition shade, this color is. It doesn't pick up very well, but my I am very pale. But as you can see. And the very last shimmer is another cool tone color. They're very nice. We'll have to see how they blend out. Because, you know, like, they can swatch good but not blend good. And you guys know. Any makeup person or whatever knows, knows this stuff. So, but there's them. And that was the last thing I ended up getting in my box. As my glam bag plus. Well, also, no. I lied. Here's the bag. This is this month's bag. And it's actually really cute. It's blue. The other one was a forest green. And this is a royal blue. And it's really nice. It's a good size. I am thinking about possibly canceling one of them and doing the ultimate. I'm not positive though. I gotta see how financial things are before I can make that decision. But my add-ons, I got four add-ons this month. And this, I was so happy that was on the add-ons and it was only $12. Like they had really good deals going on because it was Christmas time. It is the Sunday Riley CEO Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream. And this originally retails for $60, I believe, somewhere in that range. And I got it for $12, which you can't beat that. And it has a very nice, like, I just, I don't know. We're going to pop this open. That's what it looks like. And it smells like oranges. It smells really good. It's a thick consistency. It's very thick and creamy. Like, really, I almost like I don't even want to waste that, but is very nice and it's good if you definitely want a vitamin C cream it's very thick and creamy and it feels great on the skin because I did dip into this one day because I just was dying to try it 
But everything else I haven't even touched. This is the first time I've messed with anything besides the Sunday Riley cream. Because I was really excited about getting that. And it's very nice. I wore it on my makeup and it did really good. It did. That I can say. Alright. The last few things that I ended up getting. I wanted to try this out. It is the Private Doctor Define Minus Serum. And there it is. It's a decent sized tube. You get 0.23 fluid ounces. This I have not tried yet. <laughs> my fingers are slippery now from the Sunday Riley. But it's an oil and it does it feels good. It feels like a normal serum. I mean everybody knows what serums feel like. Some of them can be different, but this one actually feels really good. And this is, I believe, for like your under eye. Let's see. Apply to cleanse and toned skin. Tingling may occur. Hmm. Cool. For external use, avoid contact with eyes. So yeah, I mean, you could probably use it all over your face or it's an under eye. But it does not specifically say under eye. So it can be either or. Sorry, my hair is driving me nuts right now. And I really wanted to try this out just in case I did like it because I want to buy it if I do. This is the Pore Fresh Pore Professional Primer. And this is one of the new ones that they came out with. I mean, it's very tiny, like super tiny. That's the only thing that sucks is when you do these add-ons and you do the $3 ones, like you might as well say that you're only going to get a few uses out of it. This was a $3 add-on as well. But, I mean, it's nice to be able to try something out to see if you even like it. Which is a good thing. And the last thing I got was a blush by Tarte. It's the High Performance Naturals Amazonian, Amazonian Clay 12-Hour Blush in the shade Party Dress. Again, that's the packaging because I already have another one of these I got in my Ipsy Glam bag. And these are very small, but you can get a good use out of them. They are small, but it's okay. Because I don't really own too much Tarte products. Like, this is the first time I've ever had anything by Tarte. And I actually really like Tarte. It's just they're so pricey. Like, me, an average person, can't afford to get Tarte stuff, like, all the time. But here is the blush. I really like the stamp, well, the imprint in it. And let me swatch this really quick for you. I'm going to swatch it on top of the Sunday Riley. But it is a very nice pigmented blush. Like, you could just take a little bit on your brush and just lightly blend it in. See? Let me see. My blush is pretty much worn off for the day, so. It's very pretty. I like it. I would do this very lightly because I am so pale. I wouldn't really like dip into it too much. But it is a very nice color. Like it is. I like it a lot. It gives me rosy cheeks. But that is everything I got for the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am going to do one more video if I'm able to because I want to show you guys everything that I got from Ulta, the Dollar Store, Walmart, and all that good stuff. So Please like and subscribe. I hope you guys come back to watch more future videos and hit the thumbs up button and I will see you guys later. Bye!